it's hot as balls. And it gets even hotter. If you want to train or ride a bike, you should follow these tips. Of course, the most reasonable thing is to ride in the morning or late evening when it's not too hot or to cool yourself down with some water. But there are ways to beat the heat. Of course, you could ride in a thin cotton shirt, which is a good idea. Some change to a tank top in the summer. This is a bad idea, since you get sunburned on the shoulders and got less protection. There is a better way to dress. A legit riding jersey. You sweat more easily and your sweat gets evaporated better, hence cooling you down more efficient. But to sweat, you need something to sweat in the first place. Most people have a water bottle in their bag, which gives you a lot of water or poor handling, since you have to stop and get it out to take a sip. Or this. <laughs> Better way to get your drinks is a water bottle on your bike. Easier accessible and you can drink while riding. Downside of a bottle is the limited volume. Although water is a great way to rehydrate, there is something that is better for training. These are electrolytes and minerals which you lose while sweating and are vital for your health. As I found out, this is not the way to take them. <coughs> You're supposed to drink one bottle every hour, or in the summer even two bottles. Fill the cap, put it in the bottle, shake it up and... Yeah, that's way better. It still gets better. This is a water bladder or camel bag. These are available in many sizes up to 3 liters and can be double useful. Fill them halfway up and make sure the pot isn't blocked. Chuck it in the freezer or fridge. Check for the pot and wait for it to cool down. While we are prepping, Pre-gaming is key as in every weekend activity, so simply drink a lot of water the day before you want to ride. It's the next day and our bag is cool and icy, so we can fill it up with more water and have a cooling ice block in our bag. Don't worry about accessibility while being in your bag. Via the hose you can drink while riding and have ice cold refreshments. Last tip I can give you is go for a short ride. Or at least take short rounds. You shouldn't do a 3 hour epic riding to places you haven't been during this weather. Also remember that the trails are sandy and dusty, which makes them harder to ride. That's all for today. Thanks for watching, subscribing and till next time.